Hi, welcome back. I am Kathy, and if you're new to my channel, I do food and product reviews. And today I have another Dash product to review. This is the mini bunt maker. Um, these little bun cakes have become kind of popular. Um, there's actually a store that makes nothing but bunt cakes, um, and they're really good. But um, and also they do a lot of fundraisers. Like I know a lot of the sports teams are selling these bun cakes. Um, so anyway. I thought this would be fun to try. Um, in the past, I have reviewed, let's see, this was the griddle that I did first. Very fun, cute, easy to use. And then there's also the mini waffle iron. Uh, this, the, um, to be honest, the griddle, I don't use that much. But this, uh, the mini waffle iron, I'll use if I have like, if I'm making waffles, like the bigger waffles and I have extra batter. I will pull this out and make some and then freeze them and the kids can just um, put them in the toaster. So that works for me. So when I saw this one, I was like, oh, that should be fun. This could be fun for the holidays. Uh, if you're having a party and you want to make a few different kinds of butt cakes and, and you, you don't want to worry about um, slicing cake, uh, this could be easy and then people could choose whatever flavor they wanted. So let's see what's inside. Hello, foodie. And also they have a little pie maker. I think I might try that one too. This I got at Bed Bath & Beyond. It was $17.99, but I had a 20% off coupon. I think uh, Target has it for $16.99. I didn't notice Amazon didn't have it right now, which I was kind of surprised. All right, so here is, I always love the little booklets, the little recipe guides that come in, um, all of the Dash products. Um, they're all very cute. Look, Let's see, all right. here it is. So this, I'm assuming this is gonna be a little bigger than the waffle and the, um, the griddle. So not much to it. Ah. It is. What's cool is this is a little, a little plate. So, you know, with a butt cake, you just have to dump it upside down where this will just pull up like that. All right. Hold, please. I need to read this real quick. Okay, so I've read over this. Um, it's pretty simple. It's kind of just like the other um, Dash products I've used. Uh, when you plug it in, the light will come on. Uh, it's just, you know, preheated before you put in the batter. So I thought I would try this vanilla mini butt cake. Um, to be honest, I, I, I'm also going to try something else because I don't always want to make stuff from scratch. I don't want to take the time to do it or I don't have the time to do it. So I'm going to try this one from scratch. And I thought it would be fun to try this pumpkin spice quick bread and muffin mix. I want to try this because this feels more like, seems more like, I don't know, I think bun cake. I think something a little heavier, more like a pound cake. Um, I don't know why, I just do. Um, so yeah, so I thought it'd be fun to try this and also just a regular, just a regular cake mix and, and see how they come out. All right, so I'm just going to wipe this down with a um, damp cloth like it says to and I'm going to make some mixes and the one from scratch and um, we'll make some cakes. All right, so I was going over the recipe and I noticed a couple things. But before I tell you what those things are. I wanted to show you the difference in the sizes. So this is the just the griddle, which is the same size as the waffle iron. So as you can see, it is a little bigger, but not by much. It would be easy you know, if you didn't have a lot of storage. It's still very small. Let's see, um, so it would be easy to store. All right. So what I noticed was uh, in front, it just tells you how to use how to use it. All right, the directions say to put it on a um, stable and dry surface, and it says to spray uh, the top and bottom, the both surfaces. All right, so then it says to plug it in, and when you plug it in, this will turn blue, and when it's ready, it will turn it will turn off, so you know it's ready. It says always to put the batter in after it's preheated. So then it says to add the removal tool. This is the removal tool here. But as you can see in A, and you were supposed to spray it, it was already in. So I don't know why they're telling you to put it in now. Seems odd, seems like you would need that to get hot too because it's actually gonna bake on the bottom there. So, a little confused by that. All right, 
But when you go to the recipe for the vanilla mini bun cake, first it says to plug it in because it takes about 10 minutes to preheat. And then it says, you know, get all your ingredients and mix it up. And it says to brush the mini bunt maker and removal tool with butter or baking spray. Then you add the batter. So I'm gonna go by this one because I don't think, I think you should heat it up first before you spray it. Um, and I'm, I'm gonna leave this tool in here. But I almost think I should spray it. Sorry. But I, I think I will spray it without the tool and then put the tool back in and spray it. So I don't know why it's two different ways, but I'm gonna go off this recipe. Okay, so let me plug it in. Let's see, maybe you cannot see, I shouldn't be holding this up, but. Okay, so here's the batter. It's very thick, which when I think of making a bunt cake, I think of it being thick, but it's just funny when they show here, it's like pouring it in. You cannot pour this in, so. But it does say it's okay to use uh, um, uh, mixes also. But I wanted to try all three different ways, so we'll see how it works out. Okay. So the light's gone off, and just like the waffle iron and the griddle, um, don't open this way. You wanna open it this way so you don't burn yourself. I'm gonna spray it. That's a little, that's a little warm. So. So I'm gonna put in the batter. I said about a half a cup. I can tell you right now, a cake mix is gonna be easier to get in here because you'll be able to just pour it in where this is a little harder. If you had a pipey bag, just pipe it in. This looks like too much because it says three-fourths of the way full. So I feel like I should take some out. All right, well, this is the first one. I will, I will learn as I go. So it says it should take about nine minutes. So I'll close it. And it does say the light will go on and off. And you, can't, you can hear it click on and off. Uh, that's just to regulate the temperature. So it's been like eight minutes. Uh, they said you could open it like if you want to check on it. So I did that and I think it's done. So it does say, you know, done. So these are warm, so just be careful. It doesn't say to put it on a cooling rack, but I'm going to. So I'm not sure what happened, my video turned off, but uh, it does seem a little dry, but we'll see. But it's so cute, look how cute it is. It's so cute. Ah. So I'm going to finish the rest of this batter, and I'm going to try maybe at seven minutes. Uh, this does seem maybe it's baked a little too long. Um, so I'll finish that batter, and then we'll move on to the other two. All right, it's been seven minutes, so let's see. Yep. So seven minutes. I should try six minutes. Cute. Kind of looks almost the same. Ah. All right, I'm gonna keep going. All right, so it's been six minutes. That looks better, and that looks done. So why in the world did it say nine minutes? So that looks good to me. It doesn't feel as dried out as the other one. All right, and I kind of messed up because I'm gonna get four. I should have gotten five. Um, had I put on some reading glasses, I would have seen that it said a third of a cup and not a half a cup so that was my fault cooking time I think you're definitely gonna have to play around with to see what works for your recipe this nine minutes I think is too long this was nine there we go just be careful these are a little warm so all right so I'm gonna let these cool and I'm gonna start on the next the next mix here's my red velvet here's my third of a cup See if I can do it right this time. I would think this wouldn't take as long, um, so I'll check it at like five minutes. That is so red, like blood. Yeah. All right, let's see. All right, so I'll show you now. So I have a feeling that these could be filled a little fuller. 
because I'm really not getting the, the lines. So the next one I'll do. And that, it's been like four minutes. So these aren't gonna take long with the cake mix. All right, let's see. Oh yeah, that's looking better. So the key is to fill it to the top for a cake mix, that is. I think I might have gotten the hang of this. That, that's better. I mean, it still doesn't look like a real official bun cake, but it's still pretty cute. <sighs> much better, much better. All right, I'm gonna wipe this down and then I'll do the pumpkin spice. Here is the pumpkin spice. Uh, this is the quick bread and muffin mix. It's not as thick as the bunt cake and it's not as thin as the cake mix. So somewhere in between. All right. Oops. So maybe I should go a little below the top for this one. I think you just have to play around with it, or whatever mix you're using or recipe you're using. All right, it's been like six and a half minutes. Look, little lines. I think I may have figured this out. Cute, cute, cute. cute. So I'm gonna make three more of these and then I have some icing to put on them and I'll give them a try. So here they are. So this one was the one I made from scratch. This one was the red velvet and this one was the pumpkin spice uh, quick bread or muffin mix. All right, so let's give them a try. So this was the first one that was made from scratch. I wanted to just try it and see. So like I said, I think it was over baked. And let's see. Very dry and not a lot of flavor. So this one was the one, I think when I finally got it right, baking them at the right time. So let's see. Yeah, this texture is definitely more of a bundt cake. This was just the vanilla icing, and it was in this recipe guide. You could add different flavors, like you could add like lemon zest to it to get a little flavor. But I finally got it right. Uh, the timing right is much better. So I think you're just gonna have to play around with it until you figure out, you know, the recipe and how long it needs to bake. The red velvet, I just used some. Um, I cheated, I just used a can of uh, icing. Just trying to make this easy on myself. All right. So, looks like a cake. That's much better, even as far as texture goes. Um, it's just more moist. So this one, this one was the, it's just kind of a, a review of the mix too. Pumpkin spice, quick bread, muffin. And this, I just put the cream cheese icing on it also. Let's break a little uh, pumpkin spice on top. So it's definitely my favorite, which I knew it would be. Good pumpkin flavor. The spices, the cinnamon, nutmeg. And I know I wasn't comparing the, um, the recipes, but just so you know, I like this. It was good. So I think it's cute. I think it's a cute idea. It would be great um, if you're having a party and you want to do a few different kinds. Um, yes, it would be time consuming, but I think if you just, like for me, I'm thinking if I was having a party and I was getting other foods ready, I could have this off to the side and just make one every, I don't know, six or seven minutes, however long it took. So that would be easier to do than if I was just making these, if I had something else to do. So. I think it's cute. I think it'd be great for a party or if uh, your kids, you could bake one flavor and they could decorate them different ways. Um, it could be great for gifts even. The Dash Mini Bunt Cake Maker, I'll give it a thumbs up. I think it's super cute. Um, like I said, $17.99 at Bed Bath & Beyond, but it had 20% off coupon and I believe Target had it for $16.99. All right, so if you have tried the mini bunt maker from Dash, uh, let me know what you think of it in the comments below. Like I said, maybe I'm gonna try maybe next week to do the mini pie maker. I think that would be cute. Now I can make my favorite, my apple pie, not fried, but still be yummy. All right, 
right, so that brings me to the question of the day. What is your favorite kind of cake? So mine, like a chocolate cake. Actually, I like a chocolate cake right out of the oven, warm. Um, no icing, no icing necessary. But if I was gonna have like a slice of cake, which I haven't really had in a long time, it would be German chocolate. I love German chocolate. And I know some people are weird about it, especially people that are like coconut or pecans, but I think it's yummy, so that's mine. So what's your favorite cake? Let me know in the comments below. Right, if you like the video, I would appreciate a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please think about hitting that red subscribe button and the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Stay safe. And I will see you next time. Bye.